stuff too. Sailing! <laughs> Heading up to the airport. It's only 5.15 for an 8.50 flight. Half an hour ago, and they made us just wait as they unloaded baggage. Oh man, the day is so long. All right, so we got to customs, and uh, we were waiting there for I don't know another, we should say, 40 minutes or so. But we uh, finally are here on a shuttle, and I don't know how much longer we're waiting to get over there. And I'm thinking, why don't we just walk over there? But, uh, that boat ride was about an hour, but um, it was very And then we were stuck on the boat for a really long time to get out of the boat in like, this little confined space and just reek diesel and all that. I just like, oh, I want to be done. But want to be relaxing on the boat, right? Or on the, away from all these people. <laughs> Finally, going to boat. And tell us what you think about the customs. <laughs> the customs, <laughs> customs sucks. Customs is great. <laughs> hey, it's Emily. It's sailing day. So, first time out on the catamaran. It's an overcast day. A lot of boats out here. A little nervous about our first time going out, but hopefully we'll be okay. Jeremy knows what he's doing. <laughs> and hopefully I do too. It's our little cabin here. Got our fruit. Got ice. Lots of stuff in here. Eggs, beer, <laughs> fruit, milk, ice, and some rum. <laughs> yeah. All right. I took my bonine seasickness pill, so hopefully it'll be okay. All right. Let's do this. Um, it's about 10 and we just had the guide, um, the temporary guide that we had for a couple hours and he took us through the loops and ropes and things of the boat. Um, I tied a couple mooring balls stuff. Uh, it was my first actual time doing any of that and tying knots and things and it was like being tested before I ever did it before. So. <laughs> Alright, that was intimidating and I was like getting a little um, I'm a little seasick right now. But, um, yeah, and Jeremy kind of panicked too a little bit, but it's because <laughs> the setup was different, so it was quite learning. I hope we'll be okay. And the, the water is just really rough over here, um, so we're hoping to go south to uh, Dirt Island. Yeah, so we, we just left the moorings, we were on Dock A, mm -hmm. and we just basically came out, picked up a mooring ball, and he tested us on that. So 
so that was <laughs> that was fun trying to remember how to do everything. Even that dinghy. <laughs> and I was trying okay. to pick up the mooring ball, but I was sideways to the wind instead of going dead into the wind, so I was being blown all over the place. But second second go around was better. He he did one to just kind of show us actually how to do it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, then we did it a third time. That was. That was a little better. Keeps getting better. So next time we pick one up in uh, Peter Island, probably we'll, uh, we'll be pros at it. Now we just we just put up the the main well here at the mooring too, and then I dinghied him back to the dock, <laughs> which was kind of tough because the dinghy when you go in at any speed the dinghy knows it's like. So you can't see, so you have to go slow or have someone on the bow of the dinghy to keep it down. I guess I saw one guy standing up as he was doing it. Yeah, I don't know about doing that. Just go slow. <laughs> you don't want to stand what, what's up. What's that saying about going slow? Slow as pro. There you go. <laughs> uh, oh, look, here's some like container ships that just pulled in. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's Pitsy Harbor. Hopefully, we won't run into anyone <laughs> on the way out of here. It's just a lot for me to take in. Yep, so just a quick little little tour. We're supposed to be able to put our dinghy up on the davit here, but I don't know how. I forgot to ask the guy, so... You could YouTube it. I guess I could YouTube it. Because I don't see any... There's no hooks in there that I can connect to. So, I'm just kind of sitting here in the mooring balls. There's some container ships out there. The sailboat's leaving for the day. He showed us how to do the mooring ball, which is completely different than how I learned and read the book. But I guess we learned that and uh, had to order the kayak at the last minute because I forgot about it. And the halyard and all the reefing stuff happens on the mast. Someone will have to be out here while we're underway, but the main up. So that sail from the harbor to we're at Peter Island now didn't quite go well as well as planned. We uh, tried to get the the main up. It was drink worthy. <laughs> <laughs> we tried to get the main up and we got it up, but we just were not going anywhere. I could not remember how to reef this or uh, trim the stupid thing to go anywhere yeah but you know what we saw other people struggling out there but hey and over here too <laughs> i was struggling again with the mooring ball the, it got caught so i mean and we had issues with the like things getting stuck and uh oh, in general with the Oh, it's just been a crazy morning, but so we had a lot, you know, just playing with the rigging and stuff, and it's yeah. a learning experience. But you know, if you don't fail several times, go, you won't get that. We'll go to, to go back to the getting. We almost we almost turned around and went back to the to the mooring task for a captain. Yeah, because we were like, "What's up? Why aren't we going anywhere? We're going like one knot." So at least I could stuck it with get COVID. a re get a refresher on how to do it. <laughs> But then I'm like, hey, wait a minute, why don't we just try doing the jib? And that worked. We were able to hit a, yeah, we were able to hit a whole uh, five knots, I think, at some point. So we just kind of sailed the <laughs> probably one mile across and it took an hour. And we, we kept trying to tack back and forth and then it just, we had to keep going line, around in circles. Line get, kept getting stuck on the stupid winches. Yeah, what's up with that? So we ended up thought we'd go to one bay and now we're at, we ended up having to motor up to a, this other one where are we which bay i don't know um uh, it is on this little tight picture here so if you see we're in peter island and we are about here so this little bay inside there yep yep so we managed we pulled around trying to get here and then we finally got here and I was making a pretty good approach to the mooring ball and then I just must have cut the engine to too low power and I started just drifting off and I had to circle around and grab it again and then 
It was perfect, and then Emily goes to grab it and gets the boat hook stuck. Of all the times, I never had that happen. It just was released, and then I was giving up all my all to hold on to it. Got rope burnt, <laughs> rope burned all down my arm. Ow. So she's holding on to the hook for dear life, afraid of losing it or whatever. And well, you so know, then, we're in the ocean. I didn't want to like go out. Well, we're in a bay. It's not um, like God's far. Anyways, I told Jeremy to bring out the dinghy and get it, but he wanted to be all superhero and jump in the water. Yeah, so, so I, I jumped in the job. water and saved the boat hook. And then, <laughs> then we just had to reset everything, and now we finally had lunch. I haven't even really eaten all day. Yeah, he puked up a bunch for hey. breakfast, but that's okay. <laughs> so you, you need an extra helping for lunch. Yep. I'm sorry, but I didn't puke. Yay! <laughs> I hope I don't. It was really rough seas today. But... Yeah, it was probably 17, oh. it was about 15 to 17 knots or so. And the, sea, Every... the seas were kind of, kind of lumpy. Really? <laughs> Especially if it was hitting you on the beam, then you're really rolling. Yeah, well, so. right now we're in a little protected area and it's a little calmer. Um, yep. But... So we got a kayak, so we're thinking of kayaking around to a beach somewhere and um, I know Jeremy wants to go out in the water again, we'll leave in a little bit but maybe kind of explore around here. Yeah, we may we may just go out there and tool around for an hour, a couple, hour or two to actually try to sail. I'll, I, luckily I brought my book, so I'll remember. Yeah, he went to it. He was like, Can you hand me the book as we're out in the ocean sailing? And I'm like, Now's not the time to read. At least I remember knew how to remember how to use the jib. Yeah, we should have got the cliff notes or like, you know, sailing for dummies, right? Oh well. <laughs> yeah. I know, the instructor, um, the, what, what was his name, the skipper for a couple hours we had this morning. I don't know, he was pretty patient though, and he's like... He was probably thinking, oh boy. Good luck with these guys. <laughs> and the people out there, like, were watching me, is failing with getting the mooring ball. And, yeah, we're entertainment for the locals, of yeah. course, but hopefully we'll get it. Let's just take our time, take it easy. Okay. I've never done this before. You're doing, you're doing You've great. You've sort of never done this before. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, I, so I guess that's it for now. Yeah. And it's so, uh, three. It's three o'clock on uh, Sunday, and we've made it about a mile from where we started. So yeah, it only took us a couple hours. Yeah. So. So. We'll probably head out soon and come back. Maybe go kayaking somewhere. Probably just come back to this harbor because it's calm. And we know it exists and how to get to it. I really want to be on that dinghy right now. <laughs> uh, so we tried to go and sail and now we are stuck in a rainstorm so we came back. Jeremy is going under the boat because apparently this dinghy rope got caught under the propeller. What else can go wrong today? Oh, another beautiful day in paradise, right? Maybe we'll finally have some nice weather that we can go out. Not be caught in storm. After a horribly, horribly unsuccessful day yesterday, where we couldn't get the main up and going anywhere, we finally got it up. We have it on the second reef. I didn't want to be overpowered to get myself in trouble. So right now we're sailing downwind, heading towards the Indians. And then 
it'll be upwind sailing the rest of the most of the trip. Yep, talking and jiving. <laughs> we'll set up the we'll set up the jib later and take a reef out. I just didn't want to take too much at once. Getting caught. Uh, see those metal part, uh, yeah. the bats kept getting stuck on those lines. Like whenever he kept hoisting up, he had to get the like, right in between. Why? <laughs> so how fast are we going, Captain? We are going four and a half, but we're only like half powered. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. after watching all those sailing videos and going to sailing school and all that, now finally doing it on your own. <laughs> what, what were your expectations and what did you uh, decide? There's a lot to relearn how to do. Because <laughs> I had done it, I only done it once for a week, six months ago, so the first couple of days are kind of a drag. Yeah. But I think now that we got it. Yeah. Oh, good. You know what? I have to say, Jeremy, I am super impressed by you today. You finally sailed, like we both sailed. Really good. Yeah. yeah much better. Further than we ever did. We went all the way up, all the past those islands. I know. We went probably, sailed probably 20 miles. Yeah. Packed a bunch. The, and... I have to look at the chart, but our first, our first stretch was really good. We went yeah. all the way from. Uh, Salt Island, way past where, where we? uh, we're at Virgin Gorda right now. <laughs> no, yeah, but, yeah, way past Virgin Gorda, because then we had to come back. Oh yeah, we're actually at the tip of Virgin Gorda, so we went from basically the south chain of the island all the way up. 
pretty much. Well, Salt, Salt Island kind of more. But yeah, good job, honey. Well, we're on the, the we're on the bitter end. We're on the bitter end. Going yeah. up Guy's Trail. Yeah. Oh, about 500 feet up. It's almost 10 a.m. It, look, it looks just like home. Yeah, just like home. You got nice boulders, and cactus. your uh, snorkel today? Yeah. Good? That is fun. I like the fishies. I just coordinated <laughs> with that. Snorkel, you gotta spend a long time. I got it. Yeah, it's nice we found this teeny tiny little beach. Yeah. Other... Some decent, decent snorkel. Not a ton of fish, but better than nothing, I guess. Fun. We went to the Bitter End and we checked out the town. We took a trail going up the mountain and we had a nice view. And you could see all the reefs. There were some people from Argentina walking behind us. That was and pretty what, cool. And what did Jeremy do to you? Oh, and <laughs> so I got some more bangs up. Um, Jeremy was on the top of a little a stool there bench and he stood off of it and quickly jumped off and it tumbled down the hill onto me. But more banged up bruises but and uh, I just you know I just gained some battle scars and stuff anyway. 
um, from the lyrics. So after that, we were like, let's go circling. So we came back, took the dinghy, digging back to the prickly pear little harbor here where we're staying. And we went, I had to kind of relearn how to do this for a long time. So I just practiced a little bit around the boat and then got comfortable. And we did some snorkeling over here. And then we took the dinghy out further down. Um, and we saw lots of coral and some fish. It was pretty nice. And then we took the dinghy all the way around the island um, to another beach, but... On the other side of Prickly Pear. The other side of Prickly Pear. But um, there was lots of huge yachts there. Um, Multi-million dollar, ten million dollar, humongous. But the wind started to pick up and it was too rough for think for snorkeling, so we headed back in. But before we were pushing the dinghy out, I thought I grabbed onto it and I fell in the sand. It's like quick sand here, and you just like keep sinking. I think that my bed cut up my head. So I got more cuts. Than me, yeah, I'm gonna look like I was in a fist fight, a fist fight when I come back. So. No one said sailing was easy, right? Yeah. I am trying to start a charcoal grill. Why they put charcoal on a boat makes no sense. But oh, it looks like it's going. We're getting some heat. It only took me some gasoline and a bunch of cardboard boxes. Oh, and Jeremy saw some sharks. Oh yeah. The, the, water. the fish were swarming earlier, and there was a shark. It went right under. Right under there. I didn't tell Emily, I didn't want her to freak out. Oh, it's okay. You should have told me we could have caught it for dinner. So now that we're getting used to boat life, we'll be over in uh, <laughs> Well, we're halfway days. through. Yeah, well, today's Wednesday. Oh, yeah. We still have Thursday, Friday, and Saturday a little bit, but... A, <laughs> a little bit. Days. Saturday we have to leave for the ferry at 9 a.m. Yep, but we'll be on boats. Wow, this is the calmest it's been. The wind's just like died down. Gently sailing.
breakfast here in Dakti in Tortola and we are getting ready to take the taxi to the ferry and head back and go through customs in St. Thomas. Yeah, it's about it's about 7 a.m. right now. Yeah, we keep waking up at like 6 o'clock in the morning. Now we have a mm -hmm. fun day of wait, hurrying up and waiting. Yeah. Um, I know, I do wish we had more time. I did enjoy sailing. And I learned a lot and I saw be more practiced. Oh, <laughs> but, I, I, mean, I do too. I was getting better. We'll get there. It, it gets confusing sometimes with me, like, which line, you know. The red one. The <laughs> red one? No, the other red one. <laughs> But I'm, I'm very impressed from where we went from day one, or day two rather, when we started actually sailing to today, so, well, yeah. yesterday. <laughs> yeah, next, stopped sailing. next time we'll have to plan it better so we yeah. can leave like first thing in the morning and not have to bring yeah. it back until the next morning yeah. of when we have to leave. I know, we were kind of in a rush. So, well, we took a nice day, leisurely sail yesterday yep. and we got here in time to Oh, and you have to bring back stuff soon. Yep, I have my yeah. router I need to bring back. Brought back the phone yesterday. And, uh, mm. that's it. Yeah, I'm gonna miss this little boat. Little boat. <laughs> but looking forward to also coming back home to the kitties. I'm sure they miss us. Oh, and last night we, uh... Oh, yeah. There was a big party <laughs> boat next to yeah, us. Yeah, people, well, people across from us, they have, uh, the same boat as us. But there are six people, well, three couples, and they also have a captain. Yeah, they're And so we have, like, we have, like, a bunch of rum and... We had a bunch of rum and ice that we didn't couldn't use, so we gave it to them. Yeah, and peanut butter. Like, oh, and, oh, we also have peanut butter. And olive oil and, and nutmeg. <laughs> and nutmeg and, chicken, and uh, poultry seasoning. Yeah, yeah. so... I was like, here, and, and we gave him some couple of beers too. And yeah, some basically room. anything that we had that wasn't like totally used up. Oh, and, and a case of water. Yeah, yeah, we were wanting to be nice and hey, you know. Yep, so. And I helped them out. So, oh, last day. Everyone always seems surprised that, like, we handled the boat ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh. Oh, did you have a captain? No, we did it ourselves. I took a week-long course. I was good. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> it was really something because uh, everyone here usually was like older, like, you know, like our, our parents' age or slightly yeah. younger than them. Yeah. That was, the you know, driving people, their own boat. The, the, people, the, couple, the couples across from us, they're probably our age-ish. Oh, yeah. But, no. they're, but they're not but they, captaining. Yeah, the that's what I mean. The people sailing are usually older. Um, people. You haven't seen people like us, just the two of us. Usually older couples, but yeah, yeah we're just a couple of well, youngins. It's, a, it's an expensive activity, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, well it's an adventure. So, yeah. yeah. So, I guess we gotta prepare to go and All right. spend the next 12 hours traveling. And it's that pretty little boat that in this nice little kitchen. Yeah. The, thing, the thing I really hate about this boat though is is these uh, these stairs. <laughs> so they, they're like super super narrow and they have this this little lip yeah, on it which hurt your feet when you're barefoot trying to go down them. And and then the other part was the Switches on the mast. The lines kept getting stuck on them every time we tack or jibe. So someone would have to go up there and <laughs> fix it when we're frantically trying to make a turn. And there's inevitably someone coming at us or we're near something. It's like now we have a ton of room. So oh, yeah. that was always exciting. <laughs> Stuff would always go wrong when someone else was around. But I guess we just deal with it and we didn't have too many problems. Mm. So, yep. Oh, and here comes a man taking oh. our kayak. Yep. 
which we didn't use at all. Well, we used once. <laughs> we used once for about but half an hour. The problem was the uh, the, t the ties or rip ties. They kept pulling us in the wind. Like there wasn't really too many places to use it around. Yeah, it was easier just to use the uh, the motor, the dinghy. Yeah, motor. to get where we wanted to go. Because yeah. the thing is kind of a pain in the butt to take out. You have all these straps and you have to awkwardly carry it down the back. Yeah, not very easy way. Yeah, some some boats have like hooks on the side that you just put them in. But uh, all right, all right. So that's it. It's the end of our fun adventure, but well, hopefully we still, more to come. We have the adventure of going home. <laughs> yes. To our cats. Here we are uh, waiting for the Roadtown Fast Ferry. We're in uh, the dock area, I guess. Uh, for the it's not as busy as I thought it would be. Well, it's still a happening place. It's still happening, but the line is not as long. Yeah, that's good. And we have our our prepaid ticket here. Yeah. So, yep. And our passports. And our passports. So, another hour before it leaves, so we got plenty of time. Yeah. That's good, right? Yeah. We just went through the first ticket line and now we're in another line to go through. Uh, I went through custom, uh, was that custom? I don't know, we went through a ticket line, another line to wait to go. And then a security <laughs> line. Pay a $40 departure tax and then a security line. Hey, we're getting on our boat. And we're now on the ferry going back to St. Uh, Thomas. Pretty packed in, but it's nice in here. Air conditioned. Looks like a, about 10 o'clock now. Leaving right on time, almost. We just got off the boat, or it's about a. I'm supposed to get here at 11, about an hour late. We we're just drifting to the harbor. Yeah, waiting for, his, waiting for a spot. And now uh, we're waiting in the immigration line. Holy like cow, we breezed through customs on the US side in no time. It's uh, 12 o'clock. What do you think about that? Take us. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Yeah. Now we're just waiting for our cab. We've been uh, hanging out at the airport. Yeah, we'll get, get some food. Some yeah. airport food. We're here at the airport. The crowded airport. <laughs> Everyone's packed in like a can of sardines. There's only one woman's room. <laughs> and we seem to be in the lucky spot where there's actually working air conditioning. Yeah. Everywhere you walk out of this area and it's all gets it really humid. And we're waiting. Um, oh, geez. We, it costs us like 20 bucks just for one sandwich and two waters and, and juice. <laughs> yeah, so we're living off our snack packs. I tell you, it's just a, it's a whole scam why you can't bring water aboard. Just so you have to buy at the airport. But we're waiting for, it looks like our flight in Boston's on time. On uh, flying Delta. 327 scheduled. Yeah. What time is it now? Another hour or so. <laughs> it's 2 o'clock. Yeah. And so. the uh, security line wasn't too bad. It was, uh, it kind of zipped right through it. Yeah, I didn't get frisked this time, but I got frisked on the whole, whole pat down <laughs> with the Manchester, I mean at the Boston one. Yeah. The runway's So Now we just wait for another hour or so, then come back to sunny New Hampshire. <laughs> All right. Hopefully, sunny. Uh, our airplane is too overweight, so they just offered a thousand dollars for to six people and hotel and all that, <laughs> so we could make it to the airport or get off our runway in St. Thomas, so we could make it to Boston with the right amount of fuel because Boston's stormy, so they had to carry more fuel for if they have to divert. So this sounds great. I don't know, what should we do? Well, I think other people have already volunteered. So. 
Oh well. Hopefully we get to take off soon. It's like super hot where I am. It's like the sun's beating on my window. She can lift off the ground. But we get to watch Assassin's Creed. Just like that, we're back. <laughs> 